Got to check out my uh, my Esbit tablet there. See how she's doing. Looking good. I don't know why I was seeing a little bit of smoke there. See what I could do is take that out. And if I wanted to snuff it out, I could snuff it out by pushing it up against the, the framework of the pot support. Get it to go into a simmer mode. I don't know if you can see that or not, but let's give it a try. Open it up, give you a full full esbit. Slide that underneath there. Works nice. I got my modified burner going. Let me see that. Where's the I have that stainless steel hook clip that works nice for raising and lowering the, the pot support. I'm going to take this out, snuff it out. You see that smoke? That's one of the foulest smelling smoke. <laughs> that I've ever smelled. Anyway, there. That's the way to snuff it out. Lessens the uh, odor, saves the esbit for later. Now we can just take that, shove it underneath there, and switch over to alcohol. So that's how it works. Works great. You get plenty of coverage. It's a five-inch tall windscreen. Not too hot. This new lid that I've come up with with the ruffles fits in there nice so that it can be squeezed up on top to be lifted, transported. And what I what I have is this silicone slap band for when I want to pick up a, a pot of hot water. I slap it on there, pick it up, go, let it fall, bring it back, not too bad, J.K. will have a, a laugh on that one, he was laughing at, not laughing, he said I was doing good at spilling water on my wood stove yesterday. Put that back underneath there. So if we got a, a hot pot, just and up away you go. Titanium windscreen in the alcohol mode. Turn it upside down. Put it in the wood mode. Get that out of the way. Now when it's in the wood mode, I use two, two stainless steel clips, like so. The other day I, I used a uh, piece of carbon fiber mat. I started my fire right directly onto that mat. I'm going to make a titanium base so that I could have that to start my fires on. put my wood in there. I like stacking my wood vertical. 
a lot of people just go ahead and put it all their goodies in there and then start a match, let it go, feed it, and get their fires going like that. So, with that uh, flat stock stainless steel, just put that on top like so. Then I'm able to use small diameter pots like the like the uh, Foster or I got a SP600 that I use for a lot of my woodwork. Put that on there. That works good. And then these three pot supports for my larger pots. One of the things that I was interested in testing yesterday is the um, the heat effect on these on these pot supports. I'm looking here, and there there's no fractures in these corners. That did well. So far down here with these holes, looks good, no fracturing, holding up pretty good. Now with the, uh, with the foster pot, I'm going to uh, Show you how. Let me just dump that back in the bottle. Just doing a quick, quick showdown here. We'll show you how I could, uh, how I could pack that up. I think I did show you some photos of. Um, hang on, I'll be right back. Hold on. I was looking for my full size flat bottom foster pot. Can't find it. The one I use for wood burning. But let me show you if I if I were to if I were to use the uh, the foster pot with the ridge lines, how that um, take that windscreen goes all the way down in there stuff all your other goodies in there this uh, wood mode pot support go in there the alcohol burner pot pot grabber I don't have a fuel bottle, but put your fuel bottle in there. There's a lot of room left in there. Oh, Esbit. Here you go. Esbit miser. Stick it in there. All set. Thanks for watching. It's cold out here. I'm going back. See you guys later.